In this video, we will show you how to replace the Bilstein B4 air suspension module on the front axle of a Mercedes-Benz S-Class W220 with 4MATIC. Please adhere to the instructions shown in this video. Air suspension modules should always be replaced in pairs. It is imperative to heed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. When replacing air suspension modules, it is imperative to use the vehicle manufacturer's tools and equipment. Air suspension modules are left and right hand parts. Check the association of parts prior to installation. Take the air suspension module out of its packaging and check it prior to installation. Please refer to the provided installation instructions and check the expiration date. Measure the length of the Bilstein air suspension module and compare it to the minimum length stated in the installation instructions. Prior to removal of the air suspension module, vehicle height is measured and recorded from wheel hub center to the bottom edge of the front fender. Attention! This is only possible if the air suspension module is not destroyed. Open the fuse box in the engine compartment and remove the fuse of the air supply system. Lift the vehicle using the lifting platform support points specified by the manufacturer. Remove the wheels. Thoroughly check all suspension components for damage. Switch off the ignition. Always remove the ignition key while working on the air suspension module. Remove the connection to the height sensor. Disconnect the electronic cables on the plug connections of the air suspension module. Check the cables and plug connections for possible damage. Remove the lower mounting of the air suspension module. Always wear the necessary protective equipment when working on the compressed air system. Carefully loosen the pressure line on the upside of the air suspension module until you perceive the sound of air rushing out and wait until the residual pressure has dropped completely. Then remove the pressure line fully and seal it. Ensure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Remove the upper mountings of the air suspension module. The air suspension module can be removed now. The installation of the new air suspension module is analogous to the removal in reverse order. It is imperative to heed the manufacturer's specifications regarding the renewal of screws and self-locking nuts, as well as the prescribed tightening torque. Remove the safety label immediately prior to the installation. Insert the new air suspension module and screw it to the lower assembly points. Install the upper mountings of the air suspension module. Loosen the locking screw on the pressure line connection of the air suspension module and remove the sealing ring carefully. Replace the sealing ring on the pressure line of the vehicle. Mount the pressure line on the air suspension module. Heed the vehicle manufacturer's compulsory tightening torque. 
Ensure not to bend, twist or squeeze the pressure line. Fasten the lower mounting screws of the air suspension module according to the specifications of the vehicle manufacturer. Connect the electronic cables plug connections and fasten the supply lines into the appropriate brackets. Mount the connection to the height sensor. Attach the wheels professionally. Insert the air supply system fuses into the fuse box in the engine compartment. Attention! Never lower the vehicle from the lifting platform with a depressurized air suspension module. Lower the vehicle down to the first ground contact of the wheels and then start the engine. Let the engine run for at least two minutes and then lower the vehicle with the engine running to the previously measured level or to the series standard height. Activate the vehicle's lifting mode. Wait until the vehicle independently lifts up from the lifting platform. Only then a complete lowering of the lifting platform is permitted. Check the pressure line connection for tightness. The leak tightness of the entire system has to be guaranteed. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.